Where no council is, the people fall. But in the multitude of counselors, there is safety. Peace and be not still, O God. Read. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult. Read that again. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult. Read. And they that hate thee. And what? And they that hate thee. And they that hate thee. No one hate us, brothers and sisters, if y'all didn't know the other nations hate us. If you look at our history, we, we always been hated by the other nations of people. You know what I'm saying? You got enemies on this earth, not your brothers that, and sisters that look like you. The other nations are your enemies according to the Bible. Right. Your enemy is the so-called Caucasian man. That's your enemy according to the Bible. The Arab man that run these corner stars, them your enemies according to the Bible. And God always told us to separate from the other nations. Please. And they that hate thee have lifted up the head. And they that hate thee are the ones in power right now. Because we're not the people in power. We're the people on the bottom because we have transgressed against our God. We're not the people that held up high. We the bottom of this society. Everywhere you go in America, it's our people living in the worst conditions. You can go anywhere, you're going to see our people living on the bottom of society. Breathe. I'm taking crabbly counsel against you. And you don't know that. Because you, 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 you're out of your mind the majority of the time. Our, our people are high all the time. Our people don't seek wisdom and understanding. All we seek is a good time all the time. We don't never seek how to try to get out of these conditions that we are in as a people. Read. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people Read. and consulted against thy hidden ones. And we are the hidden ones, because why? We don't know who we are in 2023. We still calling ourselves black. We still calling ourselves African American. All the titles that the white man put on you when he conquered you. Read. Right. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. God say, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. That's what the number of nations have got together and said. Now we are not a nation. Now we don't know who we are. I can ask 10 black people what their nationality is. I'm going to get 15 different answers. Because our people are the only people that walk the earth and don't know who their true identity is, according to the Bible. Read. They have said, come and let us cut the mouth from being a nation. Read. That the name of Israel may be no more and remember. That the what? That the name of Israel may be no more and remember. No, you don't know that you are the Israelites. You don't know you are the descendants of Christ. You don't know that you are the descendants of Moses. You don't know that you are the descendants of Jeremiah, Ezekiel, and all the major prophets. They was black men, just like you, but we don't know that no more. Now what we know? We know hip hop. What we know? Getting high. What we know? Twerking. We don't know nothing about who we are, according to the Bible. We the only people that walk this earth and don't know their true identity. We don't. For they have consulted together with one consent. They have did what? They have consulted together with one consent. What they have done? They are confederate against thee. What the other nations are? They are confederate against thee. Our people don't know you You in a war. You don't know the other nations against you. You forgot that you was brought over here in slavery? Did y'all forget y'all history? Did you know over two or three hundred years ago you had shackles and chains on your neck? Do you know we don't we the descendants of those same people? Of y'all forgot about your history. Don't forget about your history because your history will tell you who you are. This is not your land. You was born here in captivity. You gotta remember that as a people. Read. Verse 6. Come on. The tabernacles of Edom. The what? The tabernacles of Edom. One of your enemies, according to the Bible, is the tabernacle of Edom. Who is Edom? 
Edom is the biblical name of the so-called Caucasian or the white man. That's his God-given name, Edom. Read. And the Ishmaelites. And who is the Ishmaelites? These are the people that run these corner stores. They're the Ishmaelites. The Arab people. These are not your people. You know they don't even eat pork, but they sell you pork. A lot of them people don't even smoke, but they'll sell you cigarettes and stuff all day, every day. Right. But they don't smoke. They don't do drugs. But they'll sell you these things. Why? Because they want to destroy you. Because long as we can keep these people destroyed, they'll never raise up. They'll never have a revolution. They'll stay in the state that they're in forever. We don't. Of Moab. Of who? Of Moab. Of Moab. Moab is the Chinese man. Y'all love eating that Chinese food, not knowing they feed your cat right and back. Y'all don't know that. We don't. And the Hagarines. Hagarin. And the what? And the Hagarines. The Hagarines are African nations. Unless you, uh, except you believe it or not, you are not African, brother. You are Israelites according to the Bible. Read on. Gabal. Read. And Ammon. And who? And Ammon. That's the Chinese man. Read. And Amalek. And who? And Amalek. Amalek. is the white man that walk around with the Miamakas on his head. He your enemy according to the Bible. According to the Bible, brother, so you got enemies upon this earth. Not your brother, but another nation. Read. The Philistines. The who? The Philistines. Read. With the inhabitants of Tyre. African nations. That's why the Africans have never come to get y'all. The two Africans know their business from us. The true Africans know they're different people from us. Read. A sword also is joined with them. Give me Leviticus 20 and 26. And I want you to, I'm uh, Read on. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 20, verse 26. Good. And ye shall be holy unto me. What God said about his people. And ye shall be holy unto me. So God told the children of Israel, which y'all love, brothers and sisters, God said y'all should be a holy people. Read. For I, the Lord, am holy. God said, because he's the holy. Read. And have severed you from other people. What God did to us have severed you from other people. God never wanted us to intermingle amongst other people, brothers and sisters, whether y'all know it or not. Because once we mingle amongst other people, we always what? Went into slavery. We always what? End up on the bottom. We always end up serving them some kind of way. That's why God never wanted us to mingle amongst another nation. God is a separatist according to the Bible. The things that they push in America by everybody together and we just one big melting pot, that is not biblical. We And have severed you from other people that ye should be mine. Because God say he separated us from other people that we should be his. Give me Deuteronomy 32 and 7 and 8. Read. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32, verse 7. Remember the days of old. Consider the years of many generations. So the Lord tell us, you remember the days of old, brothers and sisters. Consider the years of many generations. Meaning what? Don't forget slavery happened to your people. Don't forget your past. Don't forget the Tuskegee program. Don't forget when they used our people for experiments and shot, and shot them with syphilis and got a real. But all that people want to do is have a good time in America. When you got enemies, that's all they can do. When the Most High did what? When the Most High divided the nation. When the Most High did what? When the Most High divided to the nation. God always divided the nation. God did never want us all to be together with another nation. Y'all got to understand that. Why you think you're drawn to your people? Why you think you love being around your people? Because it's a spiritual thing for you to be around your people. Why you think you feel odd when you walk in a place and you're the only black person in there? Why you think that feeling come over you? Because you're around people that's not like you. It's in your nature to be drawn to your own people. Read. When the Most High divided to the nations their inheritance, right? 
When he separated the sons of Adam. He did what? When he separated the sons of Adam. What did God do? When he separated the sons of Adam. God separated all the sons of Adam. He never wanted us to be together. Because when we come together with another nation, when you read throughout the Bible, we always went into slavery. We always went to picking up their custom. We and we went to war. We always war through the Bible with another nation. And we still at war now, but we just don't know we're at war. We think we're here to have a good time. No. That's why the Northern Nations started killing us. That's why they beating up our women in the nail salons and in, in, in the hair salons. The Chinese man beating them outside the head. They jumping on our people everywhere they go. Because don't none of the nations have respect for us. Why? Because we have no respect for each other. We. When we separated the sons of Adam, he said the bonds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. Read. For the Lord's portion is his people. Read that again. For the Lord's portion is his people. For the Lord's portion is his people. And you are God's chosen people, brothers and sisters. And any time we mingle amongst another nation, it was always death that came amongst us. You know what I'm saying? Give me uh, give me Matthew 25. Because people think when Christ comes, he's going to bring everybody out together. Watch this. Because people think when Christ returns, he's going to bring everybody together. But the Bible don't say that. When Christ returns, he's going to separate everybody. Read that. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 25, verse 31. When the Son of Man shall come in his glory. If you don't know that the Son of Man is Christ, that's the one of his names. Read. And all the angels with him. And with all the angels with him, when he's returned, read. When he shall sit upon the throne of his glory. Read. And before him shall be gathered all nations. What's going to happen? And before him shall be gathered all nations. Christ said when he comes, all the nations are going to be gathered before him. All the nations on the earth. When you understand the Bible, God made 18 nations. God said all the nations on the earth is going to be gathered before Christ when he returns. Read. And he shall separate them. What, God, what Christ is going to do when he comes? And he shall separate them. Christ is going to separate the people. He's going to separate us. Christ never wanted us to all be together like this society pushed. Because that is not biblical. It's not natural for us to come together with another nation. Read on. And he shall separate them one from another. And Christ is going to separate the people one from another.